Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is staying safe and sound in this pandemic and that everyone is ready to learn something new. But first, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. Really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you know my videos come out generally between 3 and 4. And please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. So I don't have to tell you what day today is, so let's just get right into it. Valentine's Day. Okay. Love is in the air on Valentine's Day on February 14th. Even though we believe that love should be spread and celebrated every day, we don't always remember to do that. So on this dedicated day, go above and beyond in expressing your love for family, friends, and of course your significant other. History of Valentine's Day. The belief origins is that it came from the feast for the patron saint named Valentine by the Catholic Church during the, during the, in 496 AD. This was a way to overshadow and later replace that deemed brutal pagan festival of Lupercalia. This festival was celebrated at the beginning of spring and paid homage to the Roman god of agriculture, Faunus, on February 15th. A goat and dog would be sacrificed, symbolizing fertility and purity, respectively. This would then involve the hide of the goat being torn into strips, dipped into the sacrificial blood, and painted across the women and crops. I don't want to go into that one. I know all about um, Lupercalia, and I don't really want to go into that. Okay. Despite there being many Valentines associated with the Patron Saint's Day, historians believe that the romanticized element of how Valentine's Day is celebrated today came from a priest who was martyred by Emperor Claudius Gothicus in around 27 C 270 CE. Varying stories talk about different St. Valentines, with some saying one was marrying couples in secret to prevent men going off to war, another healed the blind, and the next one a message to his daughter signed, your Valentine. There was also a possibility that they could be the same person. It was during the 1400s that the day was associated with romance. Messages, or valentines, as they were called, began to appear. Handwritten letters and poems declaring affection of love became more and more popular. In the mid-1800s, valentines cards began to be commercially produced, and traditional gifts were candy and flowers, especially red roses symbolizing love and beauty. Today, Valentine's Day has become inclusive of friends and family to show how much you care and love them. Companies have seized the opportunity to fit their products and services into the Valentine's Day period to benefit from the sales boost as it continues to grow each year. Just, you know, with most holidays, you know, nowadays they're very commercialized. Sometimes you lose the meanings. But, you know, don't never forget the meanings of the holiday, not just the commercialization. Valentine's Day timelines. So the 500s, Catholicism replaces Lupercalia. The first Valentine's Day is celebrated by Pope Galatius I to honor early martyred named Valentine. 1400s, the first Valentine's Day card. Letters and messages were all personally handmade and shared amongst high society, declaring their love intentions. 1800s, holiday of love commercialized. The beginning of mass-produced Valentine's Day cards featuring pictures of Cupid and birds. So that's gone back all the way to the 1800s. 2000s, modern Valentine's Day card. Celebrations and tokens of affection are becoming grander. Engagements, luxurious holidays, and cards are not uncommon. Yeah, if you have the money, that's fine, you know, but... Uh, most of us don't have that money, so we cannot afford to do that. Um, so that's it, you know. Um, Valentine's Day, you know, you celebrate it any way you like. You know, it's always nice to give gifts or to, you know, tell that your significant other how much you love them. So whatever you decide to give, that's your choice. You want to give flowers, you want to give chocolate. Again, it's up to you. You know, not everyone is the same thing. I don't do flowers because both my wife and I have uh, hay fever, so we'd both be sneezing all the time, so it wouldn't make sense to do flowers. But cards, candy, stuff like that is, 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 is good. 
Again, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you know my videos come out. Like I said, generally between three and four because this is a family-friendly channel. And please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. I've already passed 500 subscribers and I thank you all very much. Let's see if we can keep it going. I want to wish my beautiful wife Ellen a very happy Valentine's Day. I love you. And to all my family and friends that, uh, you know, you're in my hearts. In my heart, not hearts. I, I thank you. Stay safe and I will speak to you soon.